What's up guys, welcome to On Our Show. Today we have the Wani Home LED Mini HD Projector. This projector costs right around 80 bucks, but none of that matters if it doesn't perform. So let's check it out. Here's the box that it comes in. Let's get it out so we can go over the specs and see what's inside. This piece slides right out. We have instructions, warranty card. We have a remote control, power cable, RCA cable, and the last and final thing is the projector itself with a lens cap. So let's check it out. On the front, you have your lens. Up top, you have the adjustments for your lens, focus ring and keystone correction ring. On the bottom right hand corner, you have all of your controls. They're pretty self-explanatory. So if you ever were to lose your remote, you can control everything from here. On the back of the projector, you have all of your ports, HDMI, VGAN, IR remote sensor, SD card slot, headphone jack, AV input, USB input, TV antenna input, and your power cord input. All around the projector, there are lots of air slots, so it appears to be well ventilated. And on the bottom, you have a tripod mount, along with four rubber feet for grip and an adjustable leg. Now, the overall size of the projector is pretty small and the weight is pretty low at right around two pounds. So it's a pretty compact projector. The setup process was pretty straightforward for us. We used a 120 inch screen and a 25 foot HDMI cable. The screen itself, 40 US dollars. The HDMI cable, 12 US dollars. And the projector itself, $88. So this total setup is gonna cost you under $150, which comes in cheaper than our last projector setup by about 30 bucks. But let's see how it performs. Right here, we're gaming at night in a very dark room. There's a good screen. There's inch passes to Fortis. He came off the screen and finished with the board. And just building on to the lead, extending it, trying their best to put this one away. You sense the game has a number of ways it can go. All you can do is your very best at that moment watching movies at night in a very dark room. All right. Red eyes. I still have to take to get blood in my mouth. Oh. Oh. This is what your picture would look like in a medium lit room. Still not bad. And this is what your picture would look like in a very bright room at 120 inches. So as you can see right here, this projector has its limitations. We could move the projector closer to about 50 inches and it would show better, but at 120 inches, which is what we're projecting right now, you can barely see anything in this type of light. Here's a look at the menu options. It pretty much has everything you would expect from a projector in this price range. Very basic picture calibrations, timers, etc. So overall, it's a nice projector, especially for around 80 bucks. My biggest problem with this projector isn't so much the brightness, it's more of the sharpness of the picture and the accuracy of the colors. It's supposed to be able to project up to 150 inches, which it can do, but the farther away you are, the less sharp you can get the picture. As far as color accuracy goes, it could be better, but the price could also be a lot higher. So it's definitely not a deal breaker. And what it really comes down to is that you can have this entire setup in your house for under $150, minus the speakers. So hopefully you have your own already. So to sum it up, for gaming, it's okay. For movies, it's good. And for office use, it's gonna be good as well. For more information on this product, as far as the specs and details, I'll put that below in the description. Also to purchase this product, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link below. And also the projector screen that you saw in this video and the HDMI cable, I'll put Amazon links below for those as well. If you're not a subscriber to this channel already, please hit that subscribe button. Please like, share, and comment below. Till next time, I'll see you guys in our next video and thanks for watching.